Hi there, this is Tina from TinaHills.com and today I am speaking to you about an Aries Ascendant, a 7th house Libra moon and uh, a Cancer sun. So you have your uh, Ascendant in a uh, lot of cardinal energy here. You have your Ascendant in cardinal fire, which is Yang, ruled by Mars conflict and war, so you're definitely combative, competitive. You have your moon in Libra, which is cardinal air, and yang again, like Aries, ruled by Venus, which is the, the counterpart of Mars, who is the counterpart of Mars, okay? And your sun is in fall position, in a difficult position in Cancer, and that is also cardinal, but water and yin, feminine. So you have a lot of cardinal energy happening. What happens with this is uh, whenever the, the sun moves into the cardinal signs, we have the shift and flux of the seasons. So Aries brings in spring. And uh, uh, as, as Claudius Ptolemy said in the Tetra Biblis, that the moistness of spring forms a primary beginning in the zodiac, similar to the beginning of all animal life. So Aries is about a new direction. Uh, it is archetype of the initiator, the, the pioneer, the fire starter, the trailblazer. Starts very many new things, but not always good with completions and detailing. So the ascendant is the degree of the zodiac rising on the eastern side of the horizon at the moment of your birth. And the sign on which it falls is your rising sign. So the ascendant is the Jungian mask through which the world perceives you. It is um, how you look, a sum total of your entire being and personality in 3D. It is the first touch your soul makes with the zodiac. Okay? So, uh, when people see you through the filter of Aries, they see your uh, leadership qualities. You can be violent, you can be quick to anger, you can be very aggressive. Aries rules the head, so this is a big part of your identity. You're not afraid to walk into a room with your purposeful stride and make eye contact. You're not afraid of intimidating your enemies, intimidating your um, competitors. You choose to uh, go out there and show them who you are and you don't care who it hurts because Aries is not known to be great with compassion, not known to be great uh, with thinking what uh, what will the others feel because this is not a sign that is about feelings or emotions. Okay. Now, as I said, the Ascendant is how you look. So with an Aries Ascendant, you're definitely going to have very well-defined facial features, prominent uh, edgy eyes, uh, very high cheekbones, you know, narrow chin, uh, thinnish lips. You can be uh, prone to migraines if you have hard aspects in your sixth house, if you have a problematic sixth house, or if you have hard aspects to your Mars. Uh, or your moon, you can have a lot of, uh, you know, issues with this part, like ENT issues, uh, eye power, migraines, and all of that, hypertension, high blood pressure, restlessness, because Virgo, after all, is your sixth house, and it is, Virgo rules the, the, the nervous system as well as digestion, so if you're not putting in the correct food, you can, you know, it can result in indigestion for you and all very much um, more so for you because cancer rules the stomach, the breast, the chest is uh, your is uh, where your son is. So I'll get to that. Let me um, explain more about the ascendant. So difficult aspects to your Mars. Be careful of moving too swiftly because you're very swift. Be careful of accidents, uh, DUIs and, you know, um, of violence, road rage, heavy machinery, guns. Uh, whenever there are hard aspects to Mars, Saturn or Pluto uh, with your personal planets, then be 
and, and your ascendant lord especially be very very careful uh, you like your red lipstick red's your color after all you like your high cheekbones and blush around the high cheekbones and maybe streaks women also have, tend to have a more squarish build with this uh, placement with this ascendant uh, more testosterone and there's a lot of lot of energy with Aries ascendants so if you don't know how to balance this uh, if you don't know how to ground this energy then this can be very destructive the agitating fires of Aries can be very destructive Mars is uh, is after all about war and strife and uh, competition but it's also our I do principle it's it's uh, our action principle without that we really won't get much done and um, Mars is uh, and and the sole ruler of Aries is Mercury so automatically you understand that it's not just Martian combativeness that we're talking about we're actually talking about higher wisdom Aries is a sign of death according to Western astrology. It's where the soul must die by fire to resurrect into spiritual awareness. So uh, a lot of the, the trials and tribulations, shadows and lessons of Aries has to do with uh, you being the infant of the zodiac. Now infants are selfish because they understand self-preservation. But with, self, with this streak of selfishness, it's best to be enlightened about it. As, as Stephen Forrest says, that the goal of um, Stephen Forrest is an astrologer, for those that don't know. He says that the goal of Aries should be enlightened selfishness. Only then can we truly understand um, and not have to question our inherent self-worth because we feel we are so selfish. There can be a selfish side also to your moon. Now, moon does not do well in Libra because moon is about connecting emotions, psychic awareness, um, uh, uh, emotional fluidity, nurturance, our mother, our childhood, how we will be as mothers, how we will nurture, our everyday habit patterns is the moon. And now in esoteric astrology, the moon actually becomes a big challenge for you after the age of 35. Because you spend so much time developing these toxic habits that they actually become impediments to your soul growth. So having said that, the moon in Libra, if well balanced, is very artistic. This is Venus domain. So this is about expressing art, but Libra is essentially about relationships. So having a seventh house or a moon in Libra, it's, it's about uh, you placing a lot of importance in relationships and, and being fulfilled by relationships. Okay, but sometimes you can get caught, get stuck and caught in a codependent self-sabotage relationship, which is really just keeping you in the the running wheel, so to say, and you're not really evolving in any way with this relationship. But you can't let it go because it's something you cling on desperately to. Libra moons you are so interested to preserve harmony and peace that you can avoid difficult conversations you want to keep everything at bay because you don't want to have fights you're very you you hate fighting although your airy side is probably quite uh, combative and argumentative and you're not afraid to make eye contact and state your point or straight out into the day enemy. I think I said that. But your Libra moon's really not about that. And your ascendant and uh, moon are in opposite signs. So you have this, and Libra, Aries is about me and Libra is about us. So your moon is your emotion. So you're emotionally more into connecting, more into relationships, more into understanding the 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 right relationship with everything that you interface with okay but your uh, aries ascendant is more about me 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 it's never about we 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 so that polarity can be playing out in your life pretty starkly as i said the moon is also your mother so your mother may have been very stylish 
because Libra likes to find things, good job, high uh, profile restaurants, swanky cars and all of that. And the moon being there, your mom may have been emotionally uh, detached or may even be uh, keeping up a facade to please your father and family because she just can't say no even if it is not a relationship that is working for her okay Libras can be pushovers but I don't think that's really your problem although you have a cancer son uh, cancerians can also be pushovers but I don't think your Aries ascendant would truly really allow that Libra moon you're the diplomat your mom could have been very diplomatic your childhood may have uh, happened in a very it may have been very fair or very unfair and you saw the unfairness in it if it was fair then you want to bring that fairness into the world with your Libra moon okay but you're not great with detailing again I say that Librans are not good with detailing they create, uh, they, they, they have to understand that life and all, all the du dualities can be synthesized and integrated if they acknowledge that duality and decide to walk the middle path. You know, the polarities uh, of Taurus and Libra are the polarities of the Buddhahood or the middle path. This is when Buddha in, in the era of Taurus gained liberation. Uh, by teaching us how to walk the middle path. So Libra is actually about uh, walking the middle path. So you're very concerned with justice and fairness. Your mother may have also been very concerned with justice and fairness. Having a Cancerian son, Aries ascendant, you could be working for something that deals with justice, fairness, even be a diplomat or even be involved in an NGO, a non-governmental organization where you actually fight for the rights of others if if your cancer son really takes you there now the esoteric ruler of aries is mercury so it's about higher wisdom esoteric ruler of libra is uranus so it's about breaking stagnant uh, incorrect relationship patterns relationship with uh, other people as well as with the earth okay and now uh, you have your son in cancer son in cancer is not a good position uh, you have a fourth house son, so your father was very, family was very important to him and your father is very important to you. You may even get acknowledgement because of your family or, or because of your father. You uh, may, uh, you're very, see the son is how you take your internal chi and project it out onto the world. Okay, so it is uh, the, the the alchemy that you create in the world it's your your the display of your power okay and it is how you want the world to perceive you the ascendant is how the world perceives you and the sun is how you want the world to perceive you so you have a, a having a fourth house sun in cancer you're definitely about relation about family and your libra moon uh, is about relating to people so you should have this empathy and compassion happening because you have your son in cancer, the fourth sign, which is all about emotions, the mother, uh, the child. Uh, cancer is about um, feelings. It's a rulership of the moon, but the moon fails Neptune, actually, which is the sole ruler of cancer. So cancer is about psychic awareness, mysticism, spirituality, empathy, SP. And they're all definitely about um, uh, understanding that uh, cancer can be overprotective. Cancer, sun, uh, unbalanced, can have a lot of uh, issues with their mothers or their childhood. Okay, And it may, may have been very uh erratic if they have difficult placements so but but the lesson of cancer is to understand that humanity is is their family at the end of the day and this necessity to relate with your uh, libra moon and and be with people be in relationships and your cancer son that wants a family i think relationships are going to be very important to you uh, even though Aries, I mean, 
Aries is more about the, the thrill, the chase of it all, not so much about settling down and having relationships. But Libra moons are known to stick with someone. Once a relationship starts working for them, they want to stick in that. So leave me a comment, subscribe please, and uh, visit my website www.tinahills.com to book your reading.